one of my favorite things to do is to study folklore and legend, hence the reason why I started my channel. As we move into this Great Awakening, as I've said many times, it is apparent that a lot of the folklore and legend that we have within our cultures perhaps started in truth. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a like. As always, a very, very special thank you to all of our patrons and our producers here on Esoteric Atlanta. Without you guys, we absolutely would not be able to do what we do. If you would like to join our Patreon and producer community, there is a link down in the description box below. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. My name is Bryce. And today on Mystery Monday, we are going to be talking about the winged man of Marner High School. Washington is a pretty decent sized town about 30 miles north of Seattle. With a population of over 100,000 people, Everett, Washington is the seventh largest city in the state. Everett, Washington was incorporated as a town in 1893 and became a major lumber city. In fact, in North Everett, where their downtown is located, you can still see a lot of the old historic houses from the early 1900s. Yes, for our Europeans that are watching right now, I know that's not very old or very historic, but for us here in America, especially those of us living on the West Coast, that is quite old. In 1967, Boeing opened up a factory and Everett. And pretty soon, this Boeing factory surpassed the lumber export to become one of the greatest industries here in this Washington town. And three years later, to accommodate the growing population due to this new factory in this town, Mariner High School opened on September 8th of 1970. Mariner High School was one of the 25 American high schools selected in 1989 to do an exchange program with the Soviet Union. And very interesting, it was one of 16 schools selected by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for the Washington State Achievement Program back in 2001. This meant that the school received about a million dollar grant to expand. And I say that's interesting because we know who the Gates are. And if we know anything about anything during this Great Awakening, we know that certain members of this certain club have specific locations that they like. We know that Washington State, from our look at Olympia National Park and other parts of Washington, is indeed perhaps a hotspot of portals and paranormal activity. And one of these legends, one of these folkloric urban legend stories around Washington, again, is Mariner High School. Now, with big high schools, big organizations, institutions, they have lights that are typically on timers, right? And so at night, there are supposed to be lights that stay on all night. But sometimes these lights go out. And if you happen to be in the area when these lights just happen to go out, You'll notice two big eyes staring at you from the high school. And as you start to look into these eyes of this entity that allegedly is in this high school, all of a sudden you start to see wings appear. Now, 10 years ago, if you had told me this story, I probably would have thought it was just some trick of the lighting, maybe something to do with the weather that caused some sort of reflection on the light. But again, now that we know what we know, I think there's more to this story. And I don't think this story has much to do with the actual building of the high school, but more to do with the land itself. So coming up, we're going to talk to Stephanie and see what the tarot cards have to say about the winged man of Mariner High School.
Hello. I guess we could call this part two of the video because if you've made it this far, you obviously saw the presentation where I told you about the winged man of Mariner High School in Everett, Washington. And this is so peculiar to me because as you guys know, we have Stephanie here from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening, who is one of the sassiest card readers and channelers I've ever met. In fact, I cracked up so hard. I was watching one of your last um, Zodiac reads and I, my, uh, my, uh, my, my sign is Aquarius. I'm an air sign, but my rising is in Leo, which is a fire sign. And so I was watching, I was watching your fire sign video and you were reading your cards and the cards literally told the fire signs to grow a pair of balls. And I laughed so hard. I was like, Stephanie's literally the best. <laughs> She's like, actually, you kind of need to grow a pair of cojones. Like, just going to man up. <laughs> Listen, I just say how it is. If it, you know, if it's in here, it's coming out here. It's diarrhea. I mean, the now. cards don't lie, that. right? You're like, this is what they're yeah. telling me. Like, you got to fucking grow a pair and man it's up. And I was laughing so hard because so many readers try to be very, you know, like painting this picture. And you're like, literally, this is what the cards are telling me. Like, cowboy up, grow some balls, you know? So anyway, and of course, um, You've read on, you've read for me on air. We've got so many positive, so much positive feedback from that guys. And I hope you guys are taking the opportunity. If you can, if you want a private reading to contact Stephanie, I will put again, all that information down in the description box below. You are getting people to say something about that too. After going on dark outposts the last couple of weeks, I got swamped. So it's going to take me a little while to get through everyone's email and get everyone booked. I just want to put that out there. I literally had 80 emails, like almost from last week's dark outpost. I'm still trying to get through them. That's amazing. That's amazing guys. So yeah. And as always, I mean, right now we're going to have some fun with the cards because this is just dealing with a piece of land and a legend in Washington. We've kind of decided that we don't like pulling on people unless we have their consent. So we're going to have fun today, but as always guys, you say this in all of your videos, Stephanie, and it's so important to remember take what resonates. Um, this is just divination, which is just a, full, a form of communication. And like everything in life, we're dealing with the subject matter from the eyes of our own perspective and our own experiences, whether you're the reader or the person being read, it, it, it comes from your own perspective of life anyway. So as always, guys, this is this is pr de definitely for entertainment purposes. Although I do think that in my personal opinion, the cards are going to give us a little bit of an indication as to what's actually happening here. And so again, with with in Everett, Washington, which again is 30 miles north of Seattle, we have this school, this high school, Mariner High School. Now, I um, I went to a very small private school for high school. We called it upper school with my high school. Um, and so this school is like 3,000 kids, I think, is the population of, of, the, of wow. the student body. Uh, some, some places said 2000, I don't know, you know, this, I'm, I'm sure with the lockdown things changed a lot too with the numbers, but again, uh, there's obviously some type of phenomenon that's happening at this school. And if you guys watched the first section, you heard that I said the school opened in 1970, which was three years after the Boeing, uh, factory opened in Everett, Washington, which of course brought in more, um, families for jobs. And so the school itself is not that old. You know, 1970, that's not like some old building that's been haunted for a while. So my, can we first ask the card, Stephanie? Let's first ask, let's verify, is there an entity that is in this high school that people are seeing when the lights go off? A winged man. Mm -hmm. They see the eyes first and then the wings appear. Gonna use my uh, new mermaid deck for this. It's pretty nifty. I've gotten just as bad as Stephanie. I've been ordering so many different decks of tarot cards. Tax right off. <laughs> well, not for you, not for me. Just continue. <laughs> I just do it for fun. I just do it for shits and giggles. So, um, but for you, definitely a tax right off because this is your tools now. Tools of the trade. Yep. Kind of like a carpenter can never have too many tools in the tool bag, right? Mm -hmm. I cannot. There's. I will never own too many pairs of yoga pants <laughs> and sports bras. I got a couple more cards. <clears throat> Telling a story. 
It's almost like it doesn't want to tell me crap. That's the problem. It's not even telling a story. Normally, my cards tell a story. And I get the moon card in, in between the, all of it. So they can't just give us like a, a, a simple, so let's ask Spirit, just a simple, we don't need to know, that will be the next question if, if something is there. Is there just a simple like way to say like yes or no, there's something about an entity in this school? Let me see. Yes or no, is there an entity at all in this school whatsoever? Is there an entity at all within what is it called? Mariner High School in Everett Washington. Mariner High School in Everett, Washington. All right. So I get an ace of pentacles, which is physical. So there's something physically being seen with the naked eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's people are seeing it. Yeah. And as far as more information on it, it looks like somebody purposely put it in there with that six of pentacles. Somebody worked on putting it there. Somebody's been trying to actually remove it, I think, recently. Interesting. Well, that was, yeah. is, is this being, is this yeah. being good or bad? Bad. I'm getting it's bad. If it was planted there, there's a reason. Why would you plant an entity if it was good? Yeah. What's the yeah. purpose of that? Well, I didn't, my thing was, okay, they're seeing wings. Is this, so again, the school was built in 1970. So again, it's not that old. And at first I yeah. was thinking, oh, there's something about the land that it's attached to. But now knowing that um, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has been involved in this school, I'm wondering if it was harnessed and brought into the school because it's a school, if you know what I'm talking about, if you guys understand what I'm saying there, because of the people that the majority of the humans that are in that building are under the age of 18. We'll just say it that way, because we have to be careful with YouTube, how we talk about this. I think you guys know what I'm talking about with what the entity perhaps is feeding off energetically. Does that make sense? I'm going to ask. Yeah. Well, this is giving away something. So that could be uh, li little people, right? Younger people. But the sentence is actually dissatisfied with what has been presented to it. That's dissatisfaction. So. I take it, this is going to sound really weird. I feel like it prefers empaths, like female empaths. Would that make sense? Yeah. Well, okay. So we've talked about this off air a lot, Stephanie, about, um, and of course I had Cindy on and Mary on last week talking about like attachments, all that kind of stuff. And to actually have an attachment, like a demonic attachment or an earth-based attachment, it, it's pretty rare. Usually somebody is just dealing with their own shit. But there is the to topic of poltergeist. And one form of poltergeist is when the person creates their own, they literally take their emotions and they yeah. create something. And most poltergeist experiences happen around uh, teenage girls. And so if there's a high population of teenage girls that also are empathic. So they're filtering in energies from other people yeah. on their own. And now they're project is it, it's almost like birthing new entities, right? Does that make sense? Like, yeah, to create more. So chaos. I feel like that's the preference. A school is a portal. I think yeah. with a chariot card. Yeah. I think there's a portal there and they must take them somewhere. This person, this entity might actually be responsible for snatching. I don't know. It, the energy is not feeling nice, though. I'm going to say that. Like, no. it's, uh, yeah, this, I'll be smudging this deck after. <laughs> well, here's my next question. So, you know, I don't want to assume, and I'm going to be careful how I say this, guys, because of the algorithm. 
I don't want to assume that Mr. William Gates and his missus had any, I don't want to just assume that, even though I thought it was interesting that they had donated money to the school. So let's just ask the cards. Um, is the foundation, does that business have anything to do with the, this entity that was brought to this school? That's a good question. I got more information on it. Oh, cool. I'm actually going to look something up quickly while you're pulling. Yeah, I think it has something to do with it. Yeah, it does. Um, I get I get the Ace of Wands. I do sun worship at that school, which is Satan worship. So they summoned it in. So the temperance with the sun. Normally, these two cards are actually very positive cards. But intuitively, I'm getting, considering what we're, the topic, sun, ritual. worship, rituals, yeah. And um, they're using the teenage girls who have to surrender to this thing. So are the, now I, I haven't seen any big cases of a lot of girls going missing, but we know that they know how to suspend time, Right. Mm -hmm. Are they suspending time and using some of the females? They have, how, I'm trying to figure out how to say this, guys, without YouTube striking us. But we know about how they tell us in the church how Yahshua, Jesus, was conceived, right? And we know yeah. now that that's not correct. The story they've told us that that's actually a, a succubus or an incubus where a woman is basically um, forced to be impregnated by a spirit. And we know that that's what they do in their rituals, like kind of like eyes wide shut, but by they have to actually like with demons, which I'm assuming this is what this is. Demons don't just show up and start causing havoc. Demons are very uh, methodical about how they do things and they have to be summoned. Right. So you can't if you got it, if you think you got something following you, chances are, unless you've pissed off a high ranking coven like I did. <laughs> I wear it as a badge of honor. You're not going to have a demon following you because they have to be summoned in through rituals. Again, think of like eyes wide shut. Right. Um <laughs> Are they suspending time at that school? And I'm not saying that people that work at the school or go there for the most part even know what's going on, right? In order to participate, in order to take some type of a, a ritual on the girls where they're able to either create an entity, do you, you know what I'm saying? Like create a, an actual like demi entity for their own purposes, for their nefarious deeds. Is that what's going on? Does that make sense? I'm trying to be really careful what I say, guys, because of, of um, the algorithms. Are you asking if the teenagers are making a poltergeist or are you yeah. asking if through okay. ritualized um, intimacy? We'll say it that way. Ritualized intimacy. Okay. Unbeknownst to them, they might not know because they're able to suspend time. Yep. Yuppers. Okay. Let me see what I have here. So wands are fire for the audience who are not well aware of um, the tarot cards. Um, so I would, the judgment card is often like your own karma a lot of times, which then trying to figure out how to word this here. Well, number one, I do get an ace of wands, so that is a yes. Page of wands, so that's that is kind of like a, I'm intuitively getting like summoning and something, and it's being caused by this king of cups. So it's a male figure, maybe pretending to be loving because the king of cups is loving. But when you add these two together, judgment card, with two of swords, I feel like they're very much coerced into something that to me, that's coercion, forcing. Yeah. And I'm just going to assume. Almost like again, blackmail. I think it's blackmail. 
Well, with the, t- with the teenagers, I'm going to assume, I'm going to go on the assumption that most of the teachers, the faculty, the administration, and the kids don't know this is happening. That yeah, this is happening. a small section of them. And what I'm getting is things are probably like with the uh, Hollywood, things are recorded, and then it can be used for blackmail. And that's what I feel like I'm getting here. Like, look at your karma. Look what you did. You can't tell anybody that you did that and or else we're going to tell like so there's a lot of coercion going on i believe are there um perhaps again i don't want to say it's the faculty i'm I'm going to broadly like stretch it out to the the um when we look at like school systems like the governmental structure like you have the superintendent you have the, these things these people that exist to monitor schools that aren't actually in the school every day so let's just broaden out because i don't want to call out anyone specifically um are there on top of that are there ritualized intimate connections happening with adults and minors, you don't know what I'm saying. Again, I have to be, we have to be very careful about the words we use to, to describe this. I, I, I know exactly what you're saying. R-A-P-E. I think so. I mean, I'm not getting any aces, but in the cards, it's there's definitely shady stuff going on because they do have the high priestess card. And I'm feeling like there's actually some off-worlder, bad off-worlder stuff happening there. Um, and it, it could be, definitely could be people that actually do work there. I'm not calling out anybody specifically or not even the whole staff. I just want to make that clear, but it's, this would be occupation. So people working there, um, this is heartbreak. So I feel like that would indicate there's trauma happening on the school property. And then the four of pentacles holding on to somebody. So I, you know, that'd be forcing somebody. Mm-hmm forcing somebody something and then the tower kind of feels like it to me I'm not getting a like 100 percent yes but i'm i'm leaning toward that well we know that washington state and we've done the past readings on washington state guys and i can link some of those videos in the description box below we know there's a lot going on in washington state there's a lot going on with olympia national park um it's just it's it with the weather with everything it's just a conduit for portals and portals again are hallways or doors they're not necessarily bad or good it just depends on who's actually using the portal now mr william gates himself is from seattle washington so i'm going to go under the assumption that his family was probably placed there for that particular reason but i kind of want to move away from from that because i want to ask a question that i didn't think i was going to ask now um we, with this situation, with this folklore around this high school in Everett, I, I, I have not heard of any other high school where people are seeing this entity. And it could be that the entity, as you said, in the card said is a little dissatisfied. And that might be why he's showing himself because he's pissed off and dissatisfied with maybe what he's getting, what, where he's where he is. But I want to ask the cards, um, is this common? in a lot of schools across, we'll just say across the United States. I'm not going to take it outside of the United States since we're both here in the United States, but I'm assuming if this is common in the United States, it is probably common all over the world, but let's just say, is this common for the powers that be in the public school system specifically? I'm not saying that private schools are any better because I had a lot of trauma from my private school and I know my private school was dirty, but in the public school system specifically because the public school system is governed by the government, and was founded when the Federal Reserve was founded. Are they using public schools? Are they doing rituals to bring in either off-world, the Dracos, whatever, energy into these schools? Is this common in the United okay. States, across the United States? So, yes, a so once, and this would be like, travel but i'm getting it's like that's saying like it's everywhere yeah and it's to create an agenda i feel like harnessing karma of the children maybe the energy of pureness harnessing yeah, well, energy yeah children are pure yeah of um and uh doing rituals 
and um, to bring, I feel like this is usher, there, it's to usher in something. It's to usher in maybe more off-worlders or, yeah. So there's my next question. When um, the sickness came mm -hmm. and the schools across the world were shut down, I know where you're going with this. Did the white hats shut the school de schools down? We've been thinking it was the black hats, was the white hats that shut the schools down. Especially since we know kids are pretty much immune to the the flu, we'll say. Yep. And I know people are going to say there were some kids that were then forced to stay in bad homes, all that kind of stuff. But I think when we're looking at the broader picture, if it was the white hats that they're, they're trying to find the best outcome for, for the greater whole. I'm pretty sure they did. All right. So the emperor card could, could uh, be um, white hats because this is like a strong masculine. So this could be, um, you know, integral. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but under the, um, leadership of um our wonderful past mr t um and then uh, there was agreements that were made step back away from the, the, the schools and i feel like they're actually rescuing little people and this is actually, I feel like, part of a prophecy too. Like, there's a whole, there's a whole book on the Great Awakening. There's a book of Sarah's, the whole Great Awakening prophecy. I feel like this was written in the stars that this had to be done. Um, this could also be the re not only are they rescuing the little people, but they're getting rid of the nefarious, you know, off-worlders. But they could also be using the good off-worlders to go in and also assist as well. You know, you don't want a bunch of kids and faculty in a school when you have a Palladian walking through the hallways. Right. <laughs> might be a little awkward at first. Like, well, hello. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know my species, but I come in peace. <laughs> I know I kind of look like you, but I'm like 10 feet tall. So <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> um, and then I'm also getting that this has something to do with going into the new timeline, um, walking away from the old. So I feel like, you know how they're probably taking a lot of the hospitals and they lock down a lot of the portions of the hospitals. Um, and we think they've been putting, you know, light technology in there and everything. Yeah, quantum um, yeah. yeah, the quantum stuff, they, they could have, you know, kind of a similar stuff and it was all in love. Um, so this was, there was, um, this wasn't nefarious. This was definitely of love and um, from the benevolent ones. So this and is the next question. Since we're, mm -hmm. we know that we're in a WAR, we're in the biggest one of all time and there's moves and counter moves. And we know this all started before, like became, we became aware of this before, you know, the flu happened. Um, when they shut down the schools, was that when the bad guys started to lose their power because all of a sudden they weren't able, they didn't have energy. They didn't have a, a, a ready supply of, of source to, you know, keep their gods going, keep their demons going. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So um, I have the justice card. So we know what justice means. Um, things are it's for the better in this case. And we have the three of swords. So that means uh, lacking power. And I believe a lot of it had to do with malevolent off-worlders or, again, the taking out of bad off-worlders. And then um, so it looked like the lockdowns were the bad but they really were for the good because that five of cups is a blessing in disguise kind of a card and <coughs> it was so we have the empress and the queen of swords so you can kind of take that as like if it's poorly aspected these two it's kind of like um a high witch clinging on to dear life for power but had to surrender it yeah 
I did not think this was where this reading was going to go, but I just kept getting like, well, you know, when you invite me onto your show, this, this kind of stuff just happens, you know, I can't help I think myself. we just figured something out, guys. I think we just figured something out. I think a lot of, okay, here's my question. Public school systems in America, and we'll just keep it to America because we're both Americans. A lot of the public schools, big high schools built on top of portals, specifically. Layla. Can I hear something funny about my particular high school? So I was raised in, I, I don't live there anymore, so I'll just say the name. I was raised in Berlin, Connecticut, not, Ber not Berlin, Germany. And when you say Berlin, you have to say it really quick, Berlin. You can't say Berlin because then you get made fun of. Just an FYI, if you ever travel to Berlin, Connecticut. Okay, so Berlin High School supposedly had a World War II bomb shelter underneath it. Yep. Interesting. Yep. Like so it, let's like ask. The, the city of Atlanta. Um, you can tell when someone's not from Atlanta because they say Atlanta. They pronounce all the T's. But for locals, the T at the end is silence. It's just Atlanta. Atlanta. I would say Atlanta. 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 Like Atlanta. Okay, maybe I do say Atlanta. When people say Atlanta, you're like, oh, you're not from here. <laughs> Yeah, when people go Berlin, I'm like, no, 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 no. You got to get it right. Like, let's pronounce this correctly. It's Berlin. Berlin. Not Berlin. Berlin. If you're not, you're a, not a true Berlinite if you don't say it Berlin. We have a, a Cairo, I, Georgia, and South Georgia, but they call it Cairo. 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 It's Cairo, Georgia. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 100% according to the cards. Portals. Yep. Um, yeah, they were. Um, they were planning something for the future. That's a that's a. They're massive ritual they were, sites. Yeah, they're bringing they're bringing beings in, I think, and doing. um witchcraft i love the empress card normally but in this case it's not a good card i get the ace of cups and then the chariot so that's the portal right there the chariot yeah god so our plot people, thickens our parents going to be made aware of this or is humanity going to be made, made aware of this in the future or is this one of these things that they're just not going to really mention because it's too much and they're just going to take schools down and redo education like how how is this going to how is this going to be going forward I feel like people need to know this. I feel like parents especially need to know this. And I think a lot of people as adults who maybe had a lot of trauma in high school, and they don't understand why I think this would bring healing because they understand they're not crazy, that something maybe happened to them that they can't remember. Yeah. It's interesting too. Cause I think like, so I was in band class. I played the flute and no, I did not do that with my flute. <laughs> There was no one time at band camp, so let's just get that straight, okay? We got real fun on this channel. I just want to put that out there. So, there was no weird thing. <laughs> I've gotten on that topic. Why do I do this to myself? That's <laughs> that like, with the so, flute. <laughs> so, um, anyways, anytime I was in the band room, I felt very strange. And I started getting, like, really weird twitching when I was in the band room. So if anybody from high school recognizes me on this channel and they know, and they were in band with me and I started to have weird neck twitching, it was that freaking room. I left the band room and it went away. So I don't know what the heck that was all about, but there was some music. Music can open portals. It's vibration. Yes. And the bomb shelter, but sorry, the B O M V shelter was underneath the band room so let's ask are parents going to be made well aware of these portals in these schools yeah there was something very evil about my high school mine too for sure I mean my entire childhood was just bizarre Ravi yeah. agrees. Yes. Yeah. Ravi's the sheriff. If, if anybody walks <laughs> by the window, he's got to tell him it's his property. 
He's such a cutie. Yeah, people are going to be made well aware. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a lot of uproar. I bet. I'd be pissed. Ace, Ace of Cups with Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups one time at being camp. <laughs> JK, just kidding. Okay. Um, seven of Cups. <laughs> You're a bad influence. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so Ace of Cups. So Ace with Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is complete utter chaos. Um, and then it's gonna cause it's gonna cause a big yeah. Vigilante. Is it get vigilante? Like it could be. That's kind of the the energy I'm getting. Um oh yeah, people people are gonna take action. Yeah, this this could get a little bit messy. That's for kids. I mean I get uh, yeah, I mean that yeah, it's understandable. Um Something always like with my son said I need to take him out of school. Like, I always knew there's something really evil about the schools. Can I ask quickly about my high school, which was a private school? I won't say the name of it, but um, it's one of, like, the top 10 private schools in the United States. The high school was both a day school and a boarding school. And I went to that school from lower school, middle school, and high school. And um, I loved middle school specifically. Like, I, I loved my middle school. But when I got to high school, I, I tell people this all the time. It wasn't the kids in my class. Like people have these memories of these bad high school experiences, but it was literally the school that I was traumatized by. I, every t even to this day, if I go on that campus, my stomach turns. There's something not right on the campus. And um, I, 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 there's a lot of uh, symbolism. I mean, this is a very, very expensive school, very expensive. So you've got a lot of kids at that school that come from... Um, I don't want to use the word pedigree because I think that's kind of the wrong word. They come from a lineage, we'll say. My dad went to that school too. You know, like there's a lineage there. And you have a lot of kids that come from very powerful families in the Southeast. We have one of those near me. There was a lake with swans on the school property. Um, we have a chapel on the school property that had red carpet that always really freaked me out. So can I just ask quickly for my own personal knowledge and it's private school. So maybe this will kind of give other private school kids an insight into where the same thing's happening. Like to pull on the world war two shelter oh, underneath yeah. the band room for me. For okay, my yeah. school? You want me to pull it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, pull it. Do you, do, you, do, do, do you want me to use Mystic Monday or do you want me to use the, use the Rider Waite? What do you want me to use? You Whatever talk. you can channel best right now. Whatever you Let's do, do right right. thing. I'm still learning the Mystic Monday. Now, I'm you know, now you have my wheels turning and I'm, now I'm curious. Well, that school's in big trouble. Go Judgment on. card. Go on. Judge it. Okay. Um. Actually, you might be hearing about it soon. Well, there's already been court cases for um, mm -hmm. students who were A, B, U, S, E, D mm -hmm. through SEX. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's one of those elitist type of places. 100%. Yeah. That uh, do action, if you get my... They're part um, of the club. I don't normally look I don't normally look at this card that way, but the tidal wave tells me that like there's a ton of shit that happened there. Oh yeah. Um, and actually a lot of the, the students and the parents will be liberated. There's gonna be justice served and stepping away from this. And yeah, it was run by wealthy families. You know what that means. Can I ask, um, just generally speaking, not calling any names, for the higher ups at the school, the administration, the board of directors, when I was there, the headmaster, will the cards let us know if they were Satanist disguising Pardon. themselves as Christian? You get anything good with uh, my, my school? Yeah. So I got the King of Pentacles. Let me, there's a story here. 
I got the King of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords upside down in reverse. So I think they were trapped because it's earth based, right? I think they were holding energy, trapping souls, perhaps in there. So we know they do that. Okay. Especially if you've seen my um, a breakdown with uh, Morning and Shanti over the catacombs, they trap souls into certain places. However, we have a little plot twist here because then I get the King of Cups, which is a very emotionally grounded strong usually male energy so we can say maybe that would be like mr t or somebody associated with that group of people and then we after that we have the king of queen of swords which is kind of a commanding of language so i think commanding of language to then turn the timeline to switch it up with good off off world or help or angel intervention to then make an offering to the souls to release them that's what that i is think. fascinating I'm gonna have to be happening with a, lot of, with a lot of these places. Is there gonna be calmly yeah. coax the souls out to get them to move on? All right, so I'm shuffling asking your question. As I almost dropped the whole deck. There's Somebody safe. doesn't want me asking this. <laughs> and just to be clear, I'm not asking for current, I'm asking for when I was. That's what I asked. Yeah, because I want to. I don't want anybody harassing anybody. Or I mean, I haven't. I'm not going to say the name of my high school on the video, but they were definitely partaking in sex magic. Lovers, magician, washer and off-worlders, and secret by harnessing the younger. The younger ones there. Knights are younger souls or younger people. So I'm gonna take this a yes. They were they were allegedly involved in ritualized yeah. satanic stuff. Now can yeah. I ask a personal question? Was I targeted when I was there? Flat thickens. Dun dun dun. Because I got very, very sick in high school with scratch marks and and I still to this day like people that were in places of power when I was a student there, if I'm around them now if I see them. Oop, Michael, please protect the zoom. We just had some interference, Michael. Thank you. Um, so even at 39 years old, if I have to be face to face with any of the administration that was there when I was there, I get really uncomfortable, like really uncomfortable. I don't want to be around them. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not going to say the first part of my cards only because it's, um, I'm going to put it in the, uh, classified, classified about who I am. Uh, They didn't want something. So yeah, you know, I was targeted. Yeah. But I'm going to go with an ace. Ace of Pentacles is yes. Yeah. Yep. They were trying to. Um, Kill me. Get rid of you. Yeah. Yep. So to me getting sick and having to like do a lot of work from home. Did that actually turn out to um, save my life? Blessing in disguise. Kind of like how you're getting attacked now, but yet you're getting stronger. By the same group. It's the same bunch. <laughs> All these years later, aren't you guys tired of this? Actually, I'll verify that though. I'll ask. I know. The bunch that's attacking me now are also Satanists, so I'm just lumping them together, but they're not the same people, but I have a feeling they all, you know. They're all in boots together. They're all in the same group. They, they socialize together. Well, let's put it that way. It's not only that. They set themselves up for complete failure. It's brilliant. I love how God works. God, you're brilliant. The devil's arrogant. It's, and they were like, damn it, she lived. <laughs> like, this is so, God, I love 
that sense of humor. I really do. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going to go into detail because, again, it's classified. However, what I'm going to say without pulling cards and explaining everything is, um, yeah, it, it saved you. Okay, guys, so we'll just end the episode there. Um, this was not where we were planning to go. Moral of the story is we should always question everything. And if your kids are showing signs of stress at school, I would pay attention to that if I were you. Now, I'm not a parent, so I don't want to, like, I just would pay attention to that, knowing what we've I learned I can now. add to that, Bryce. I can add to that. My son was a BUS seed in every sh way, shape, and form at school, um, especially if you have a child who has autism, ADHD, any kind of behavioral issue, they're more targeted. The reason is they're cloaked because they are highly of the light and as a cloaking mechanism that God used. And the uh, powers that be know exactly that those are extremely powerful children, not saying that a neurotypical child is also powerful, but I highly recommend you homeschool your kid if you can. And if you cannot, you need to follow everything, make a paper trail of every little last thing. I did that. And let me tell you, I found some gruesome stuff, just an FYI. And I will say too, I know this, I have a lot of friends here in Atlanta who are school teachers, who are like us, who are awake. And what's happening too, if you can't actually homeschool your child, you can check around your area. There are some mm -hmm. teachers that are doing their own thing now. And I know it will cost a little bit, but you can work it out with, um, you know, other friends where you have kind of like a homestead where there's other kids involved too. And if you, know, you can work out a barter system with them as well. So there's, there are options, but I would definitely 100% be very, 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 I would pay close attention to what's happening at these schools, because obviously this is something way more sinister than any of us could have ever imagined. We're dealing with highly satanic rituals. And, and I believe in my personal opinion, probably 99% of the faculty, 99% of the student body has no idea either because yeah, this is a I small agree. select group. Um, and so I would just be very, very careful. I did not expect this episode to go in this direction. I thought we were just going to talk about this folklore, see where it came from. But obviously, we're going to let spirit say what spirit wants to say. As always, if this doesn't resonate with you, with you, that's fine. Um, this is just a form of divination for us to communicate with God the best way we know how when we're in third density bodies. So, um, all right, guys. So like I said, I think the next uh, Stephanie and I are going to do a follow up episode uh, this weekend. We're going to film it. Um, over the doshas and some Ayurvedic stuff that I spoke about with Catherine. And I think we're going to be doing some more episodes, just looking at some fun stuff, looking at some mysteries uh, around the world and seeing kind of what the cards want to tell us about these um, weird occurrences. So, all right, guys, once again, all of Stephanie's information is down in the description box below. And uh, tomorrow you're going to have your first installment of the Magdalene manuscript ready for you. I will be traveling this week. However, we are going to be pre-filming some stuff so that you will have some videos available while I'm away. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.